we are focused and we are ready. So let's see after the match. Um, so right now, there's, we are we are totally focused on this uh, on this, and we we don't have any other thoughts than uh, than preparing. And yeah, all I can say is that we are ready. I think they'll come out strong against us. They won't just be sitting. I think they will run against us. Uh, I think we'll be put under pressure. They'll try to get close to us and uh, get close in the duels. Um, and I don't just expect them to, to be sitting and waiting. Um, I see them also attack. Yeah, they, they pass the ball very well in the beginning and then they find some spaces and some pockets. After duels, they pick up the second ball and they move forward and they run forward. It's a, it's a well-organized football team. They have strength um, in the organization, in the way they work together, they attack together, they defend together, and they, are, they stick to a plan. And they have some, um, some quality players um, and with some strength that's really... Um, we have to be, be sure that we, we're aware of. And I think every time there's a World Cup, we see the big emotions and what football really is about. The big celebration of the game, um, how much it means to the players, how much it means for the people around the world. Når det er at VM, hvor følelser er skruet op gange 10, vi kan se det på de andre kampe, og fodbold er helt fantastisk, og til VM, der kan du, der kan du lige gange alle de her følelser, Ønsket om at gøre det, og frygten for at tabe, og alle de der ting, de er, de er jo i spil i, i endnu større grad. Så også, hvordan kan vi håndtere det bedst øh, ind i et hold? Så alle de der overvejelser er der selvfølgelig, når, man, når vi stiller et fodboldhold, men først og fremmest så er det en fodboldopgave at, at, at vælge det hold, som, som vi tror kan, 